Outback Power Systems, Outback Power Flexware DC Conduit. So guys, this is the thing I'm going to show you right here today. So uh, the part I've been waiting for came and uh, I wasn't able to do uh, unboxing or whatever. But this is the, uh, the Flexware DCA DC Conduit. It's right here. This nose cone supposed to be um, get into one of these holes right here. Well, as you can see, if I can open this box on the corner right there, there's a hole that's already made because this out out, out back supposed to be horizontal. This box is gonna be on the left side of the camera. This side here. So the, the nose cone of the Flexword DC conduit to sit on this hole right here. You can see on the corner right there. Fits right there and snap. And it came with another adap adapter. Like this this one already came with it since it's uh, pre-installed um, and a display model. So I cannot able to flip this entire box again the way I already set it up because of the uh, what's going on here so I want to just want to probably keep it this way but the nose cone the flexware DCA DC conduit is already installed you pop this cover and take it out and it has two holes that goes right here on both other side right there that's why you tighten it and holds this thing so this is I just want to show you the outback setup here and we we are getting close <clears throat> this thing this box would have been laid horizontally this way flip the box right there then it's gonna go but the brick is gonna be upside down this thing is designed to shoot this way you flip this thing that way it points that way and the inverter is gonna come all the way here that nose cone fixed right there but since the magnum system already took a lot of place on the board it's really hard for me to do it but maybe in the near future it's gonna be another setup how I'm gonna do this but uh, it's not a easy job to put all this thing together it's really hard because you got to take things, dismantle things and go this. I'm still working on this. That's been taking a long time. I know some of you guys really want me to finish up this thing right away. Because of um, uh, spring is underway. We're going to be making power. And um, we want the system to get done. But um, guys, this is what it is. And this is what it is. So I just want to show you what happened and uh, we received the part but um, which is here the flexware DCA DC uh, conduit adapter adapter conduit that's right right there this no scone so <clears throat> guys um, I hope uh, you guys are excited just like I do and uh, we want to get this thing done and get the Outback in action. Those batteries have been sitting down. I can't use them because they are not the same voltage. I can't use them on a 24 volt. These guys here. I can use those, which is the uh, um, Ford Focus batteries. But I have to reconfigure them. I don't want to do that. This one's here, which is the LG Cam right here. They're all 48 volt, which is 64.7 uh, volt. I cannot use them on these systems at all. No, no way. The LG Cam, no way. Nothing. Can't use them on this system. That's why right now we'll be running the house with the uh, the Volkswagen E-Golf. These, these are configurable. I can. These are running into the 24 volt. It is a 8.544 kilowatts that is running every day 24 7 and this system has been on trying to finish up that I'm still contemplating right here it gave me a good offer 
for that box you know the mpxl if that's called mp is mpxl mpsl i think that so to get this cover that comes to the breaker so i can able to parallel the uh the ac out the l1 l2 neutral those ones are all supposed to be that way and with this one here they can tie together they have to have a breaker that's going to be in and out just like these guys here because i don't have that box that's supposed to do the uh the dual breaker the dual uh breaker system so this is what i have for the outback i hope you guys like and subscribe share to the channel live in minnesota jw solo usa thanks for watching